Today I am playing My Hero Academia, the strongest hero. I must admit, I haven't watched the anime. You can all chastise me in the comment section. Hey, it has a story recap, so consider me caught up. My Hero Academia seems to be the latest anime goodness for all the anime fans to gobble up. So let's find out if this franchise deserves a free-to-play mobile game. It probably does, but maybe it doesn't deserve to be associated with this mobile game. Join me for a Tiny Impressions of the Strongest Hero. Before we get started, I want to remind you folks that Tiny Little Games is on the road to 10k subscribers. It's a long road full of potholes, so I'm asking Team Tiny for help. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It's like gas for my channel. If you're already a part of Team Tiny, feel free to like and share my content. I really appreciate all the support from you folks. To 10k subscribers and beyond, with all that out of the way, let's get to the video. My hero. Academia The Strongest Hero is a kinda MMORPG with stage-based beat-em-ups. Partake in the journey of the main character, join others that look just like you, and battle against villains from the anime. I'm not sure how true to anime the story is, but so far it seems like a decent representation of the source material. I won't go into all the gameplay features, as it seems to be a mixed bag of city exploration, auto-questing, and, well, the usual mobile RPG tropes. Instead, I will focus on the combat. Doesn't it look great? Well, for the most part it is. Combos are cool, and special attacks are special, but for some reason everything feels unresponsive and slow. Nothing about it feels like you're actually a hero. I always think of Honkai Impact when it comes to combo battlers, and I know that's a disservice to every other mobile game, but this just feels like a slog fest when it should feel like a slug fest. It's almost as if the game is set on a delay. I even tried to slow down my taps, yet the result is all the same. It's my only gripe with the combat. Other than this, the fighting can be fun, and the battling of enemies while blasting an ability almost, and I mean almost, makes me feel like a hero in training. I managed to look past this and enjoy the battles for what they were, a punch to the face extravaganza. It's not a perfect martial arts dance, but it's definitely serviceable. I don't have much more to add in terms of the overall gameplay. You level up, summon heroes, battle enemies, unlock new stages, battle bosses, rinse and repeat. While the anime may be a new take on superheroes, the gameplay is the usual take on mobile RPGs. I expected a bit more, and I'm a tad bit disappointed at what I received. Moving on to something I didn't expect, the cool 3D art style. It's the perfect mix between anime and eye-popping polygons. The colorful world is brought to life. Every over-exaggeration, every bombastic punch, even the character designs are full of detail. I enjoyed the mix of scenes from the show and cinematics from the game. The quirky art style shines bright here. Overall, I like the vibrant, toony aesthetic. Shall we just get to the monetization? I really would like to avoid the conversation altogether. This game does that thing where there's so much to keep track of that you're almost tempted to buy something. We have the expected summons that give puzzle pieces in order to unlock heroes. We have level up material, and of course it's separated between multiple stats to level. And there's a bunch of other things. I just didn't want to bother looking into what they are. To sum it up, it's a damn mess. I've really been hard on this game. You probably think I'm not going to recommend it at all. Well, you're sort of correct. As a mobile gamer with some taste in good mobile gaming, I would say give this one a pass. However, those that are super fans of the anime series might want to give this one a play. It stays true to the show it's based on. The over-the-top animations are a treat for My Hero Academia fanatics. In fact, you may even enjoy the combat for what it is. Those looking for anything My Hero related should at least check this game out. Those that have seen this footage and have already made a decision don't need my help in making that decision. So become a hero, or don't. Isn't that a great way to recommend a game? As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more impressions, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, playing this game almost made me want to watch the anime. 